Today's Una tip is not necessarily a position, but more of an attitude. And it's uh, how do we keep going when we're experiencing some sort of pain, right? So of course there are times when you have some sort of pain where you really just have to stop everything and let yourself heal. And so we're not talking about those times. We're talking about times that maybe something has just sort of arisen. Like you didn't really like quote unquote do anything and somehow your you know lower back is hurting for some reason, right? So the thing is, is that sometimes our pain is arising from habit. Sometimes our pain is arising from stress or some sort of you know concern or worry or memory coming up or whatever it is right so the pain in yoga in yoga sort of philosophy is essentially stuck energy so in those situations right when your pain is not coming from something that was ob obvious like you know you got in a car accident right like something that was definitely from the outside when your pain is coming maybe from the inside, something is arising and bubbling up. In order for you to really get that to leave, to stop movement entirely doesn't really help because energy transitions through movement, right? So that's how we can mutate it. So here's my suggestion, my Una tip. Essentially, let's say that I've got uh, some sort of you know, lower back pain anytime I do some sort of back bending, yeah? So what I can do is bring myself towards something that would maybe start to get me to feel the sensation, but not you know, just jump into it, right? I wanna get myself in a place where I can slowly work my way towards it. And then once I start to feel that sensation, that uncomfortable sensation, rather than keep pushing further, I stop. I want to feel it, but I want to feel it in a way where it's just starting to come up on the horizon of my awareness. And then I can basically squirm around. Like, okay, so I have my left leg is back, my right leg is forward, but what are my hips doing? Are they slightly turning to the right, slightly twisting to the left, slightly tucking my tail, slightly lifting the tail, you know, slightly like maybe moving the right hip towards the top of the mat slightly moving the left hip towards the top of the mat, right? So basically finding little subtle, super micro movements until I can get a sense of which direction or what activation can I do that actually starts to help that sensation that I don't enjoy, what I consider to be pain or discomfort, what's helping that dissolve? And then I can stay with that and then I can Focus on that. Focus on what that takes to be in that position, to be activating my muscles that way. And essentially what will happen is, is that unpleasant sensation will dissolve and then I can go further, right? Maybe it's possible the unpleasant sensation dissolves enough that it like disappears for that moment at least. And then you can really explore. And in this way, when you work with your you know, quote unquote injuries or your discomforts or your limitations, when you work with them through this way with curiosity and exploration, then, I mean, first of all, not only is it a lot more fun, you don't feel like you're completely unable to do anything. You're able to keep going and that will help you actually get through it and, you know, come to the other side where you don't have that issue anymore and you learn something about not just your body but you know a lot of times what's going on what you do what you shift other things will come up for you either emotions or memories or you know uh, ideas about like how things are supposed to be or whatever it is that you'll be able to let go of and basically grow grow from the experience anyway that's my una tip for today